In this episode, I will take you closer to the people in Tanadata Regency, West Sumatra, where culture is like a mantra. Their tradition will blow your mind away and also touch your emotion. Come see the beauty only on Sea Indonesia. Ini apa hijabnya? Asli apa? This is just an ordinary day in Batu Sangkar Livestock Market, located in Limakong District, Tanadata Regency, West Sumatra. Even though there is no special day coming ahead, this livestock market has always been this lively every Thursday. Well, lively by the sounds of the cows calling each other. People come here to look for cows for daily consumption, rice field plowing, or even pachujawi or bull race. I'll explain it more later, okay? Careful of the Among these animated activities, there is one that remains silent. It is bargaining process called Maroso by the Minion Kabul people. Do you know how much they deal the price? Well, let's take a closer look under the towel. So Maroso means touching in Minangkabau language. They bargain the price by touching hands, well, fingers to be exact. The purpose of covering the hands is to respect the first buyer and avoid the bid from other buyers that may create conflict. This has been practiced for decades in West Sumatra, but mostly here in Tanahdata Regency. Okay, I think I got the rules. Let's try to negotiate the prize. Pretend to be a buyer today. Ooh, which bull will I take? Uda, ini berapa uda? Nama dia. Ya. Nang kuniang ko. Ya. Nang kuniang ko. Sabale juta. Sabale juta. Buka. Yang sabale. Sabale. Dua puluh juta. Sabale, dua kali. Berapa? Sabale. Sabale juta itu berapa berarti? Ini. Ah. Okay. Well, well, it turns out that I still don't get it yet, and the bargain goes on and on. Ini aja lah. Sepuluh setengah aja belinya. Setengah, eh. Okay, deal. Sepuluh setengah ya. After the buyer and seller agree with the deal, the buyer gives a deposit to reserve the cows, so the seller won't sell them to others until the buyer pays the rest. There is also no minimum for deposit. You can even give five thousand rupiah. Masih udah ya. I'm actually so confused of how the game should play, but I think I get it. So I get the bull for like sepuluh juta dua ratus lima puluh. Bukan sepuluh juta lima ratus. Sepuluh juta lima ratus. Okay. So ten million five hundred thousand rupees. Cool. Many look for good bulls in the livestock market for Pachu Jawi. Pachu means running fast and Jawi means bull. 
Sopa Chujawi is a traditional bull race that has been held by farmers for centuries to celebrate the moment after rice fields are harvested and before the next rice planting. Okay. And yeah, that's me being the jockey of Pachujawi. But before we get there, let's take a look at the preparation with Uda Opi or Brother Opi. So we are going to find the foods for the bulls so they will raise in a good stamina. So, Abang, ini apa berarti? Uh, makanannya rumput aja toh? Iya. Yeah. Yang ini? Iya. Uh, gini, caranya gimana? Hmm. Oh, oke. Okay. Pegang ujungnya ya, abang ya? Oke. Okay. This one. Agak sakit ya? Gitu? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. When it comes to food, there are no differences between Pachu Jawi bulls and ordinary bulls. But the treatment is what makes them different. And that is bathing. They bath twice a week, and today it's Sanjay and Lanky South's turn to have a bath. Take your bath now. Okay, okay, okay. Kak, 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 kuda. Seru dong, kak kuda. Oh, gak ya? Oh, mau akrab. Iya, 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 iya. Sini, 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 sini. Sanjay sends to head bathing. Or maybe he just hates me. Okay, let's see the naughty one, Lanky So, Does he like to take a bath? Oh, begini. Oh, ah, that's a trick. Ah, nanti So, mandi ya hari ini ya. Hmm. Kata Uda, kamu nggak suka mandi. Oke, okay, aku mandiin kamu hari ini, oke? Okay? Well, surprisingly, Lanky So is calmer than Sanjay. I think we should change its name to Ana Elo, which means good boy. To be in a race, the bulls need to meet the criteria. Physically, they need to be big and bulky to be able to carry a wooden plow in the arena. The ears also need to be small like this, because it is believed that the speed of the bulls run can be determined by the small ears. And all the chosen bulls are castrated to make them less aggressive in the race. To keep their stamina, they are also given a vitamin. Okay, this is vitamin. It contains of egg and then palm sugar and then I guess there's like honey. Actually, that if we consume this every day, it is good to maintain our stamina. We usually, I usually put milk and ginger on it. Okay, enjoy. The preparation is done. Let's go to the race arena. See the beauty? Only on Indonesia. So now Udo Opi, Sanjay, and I are heading to the closest rice field where the Paju Jawi is conducted today. And it's Sanjay itself that guides us to the location of the event. He surely knows when and where to turn. As bulls are judged by how fast they can run, I can see why Sanjay starts running and leaving me behind. I guess he wants to do a little warm-up. A 
as we arrive on this muddy empty rice field. The jockeys prepare the wooden plow. The wooden plow are tied to a pair of bulls, so they will both race together. Once they arrive at the race area, they must tie the wooden plow to the bulls quickly. Or they will get cranky and impatient, and I can't picture how that will end. Before I become the jockey, the one that controls the bulls in the race, I first try the simulation where I am pulled by people. So the key is you need to grip the wooden plow tightly with your big toe. Since I couldn't do it, I just grip it with all my toes and lean my body forward while holding the plow. I understand the theory, but the question is, can I apply it? There's this adrenaline that I can't describe like I'm feeling scared, nervous, but excited at the same time. Wish me luck. Crossing my fingers and letting the universe do the work. It seems like the universe is laughing at me now. <laughs> this is the second try. Wish me luck. Okay, let's go to the end this time. Because this isn't working, I guess I'm just going to be a spectator and join the others. <laughs> this is a third try, but it failed. A professional Pachujawi jockey usually holds or sometimes bites the bull's tail to make the bulls run faster. Because a good bull is defined by how fast and straight it can run in the race. Even though it is named as a bull race in Tanahidata, there is no formal winner in Pachujawi, as they don't compete with each other. The bulls will take turns running until the end, but the faster they run, the more expansive the bulls will be. <laughs> in here they just like uh, start from like elementary school like around like five or six years old to become a jockey so that was his first try but not using a bulls using his human power the value of Pachu Joey is to motivate each other to become valuable human beings what a deep message After a tiring day, I am invited to a local's home owned by Uni Yulia or Sister Yulia to have lunch together. She cooks signature dishes of Tanadatar to bring back our stamina such as rendang chubadak or jackfruit rendang. I can't wait to taste the dish since rendang commonly uses beef. Uh, 
My eyes are burning. Skinny uni. It is cooked traditionally with coconut wood, so the herbs and spices will absorb well into the jackfruit, and to also taste richer. After two hours of cooking, this is the result of the jackfruit rendang with other delicious home-cooked dishes. And this fish that I give to Uni Yulia is not just an ordinary fish. It is the local pride of Tanadatar, named Billy Fish. I suddenly remember how I got the fish. Billy Fish is an endemic fish of Lake Singkarak in Tanadatar Regency. So it means that Billy Fish can only be found in the second widest lake in Indonesia after Lake Toba in North Sumatra. It was a windy day with a quite strong waves, a perfect place for daydreaming. Imagining eating billy fish with warm rice. So I decided to go fishing with a simple fishing pole and try my luck to catch the fish. Seconds turn to minute, and minute turns to hours, and no fish interested in my bait. So resolved to do the easier way by buying billy fish from Uda Ali. Uda, ikan billy ini Uda? Yeah. Ini ada yang kecil, ada yang besar. Ini kecilnya. Ini kecil, ikan billy juga tapi. Ya, yeah, ini besar. Ini dari ini kecilnya baru besar ini. Besarnya ini, oh. Ada yang besar besar tuh jangan. Since it's an endemic fish, it's quite pricey. Around 250,000 rupiah per kilogram. But the shelf life of billy fish can be up to 3 months after you purchase it. So I decided to buy a quarter kilo to feast with Uni Yulia and her family. And that was how the billy fish ended up on our plate. This is how I enjoy the life. A good food after a tiring day. Let's go eat. There is no way to compare home cooked meal. The savory taste of the jackfruit rendang and belly fish melt in my tongue. But one thing that makes it more delicious is that I get the chance to have a meal with the people of Tanadatar. What a day well spent. Tanah Datar lies between the food of Mount Merapi and Mount Singgalang. That is why this land is blessed with fertile soil. Because of this, the people in Tanah Datar mostly work in agriculture. As I am cycling, I see many elderly so happy harvesting chilies. The traditional culture also keeps the prosperity of this land. Like the Pacu Jawi, in addition to the rice, the bulls in the rice help the farmers plow the soil before the next rice planting. And the rice of Tanah Datar is one of the best quality that you can find in many markets. One of them in Batu Sangka Market, Tanah Datar Regency. The rice are distributed not only to the regions of West Sumatra, but also to Riau, Pekanbaru, and Jambi. Well, I want to try Tanah Datar's rice in a different way. So I am buying their signature snack called Lamang from Minangkabau. Lamang is made from glutinous rice, coconut milk, and salt wrapped in banana leaves. There are two kinds of Lamang, original and sweet that contains bananas. It costs 10,000 rupiah for three small pieces. Well, since I am here, I want to find another signature snack called Dadia. Many say that it has a unique taste. Um, makasih, Uni. Yeah. Aku coba rumin, ya. Yeah, coba. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it, but there's a strange aroma from this Dadia. So actually, Dadia is uh, fermented buffalo milk. So like they put this buffalo milk into this uh, bamboo stalks 
and then they just like uh, let it uh, ferment it around like one to two days. It's like a yogurt, but the texture like different. It's more dense than the yogurt, while the yogurt is like liquid. Ini ada yang kecil uni. Ini masih lembek. Oh, berarti kalau masih lembek didimin dulu agak lama. Berapa hari biasanya ini didimin lagi? Satu hari. Oh, ini udah yang ini udah udah satu hari. Boleh uni yang ini ya? Ya. Satu. Satu udah ya. All done, let's try the snacks, starting with this original lamang. Good, I like it. <laughs> it tastes plain. So I suggest you if you want to get this lamang, the original lamang, there to yeah, combine it with other things like maybe palm sugar, look at palm sugar or other things Hmm, I wonder how this banana lama tastes Will it be sweet or plain? Mm. It's good, I like this one The combination of savory taste that you get from this sticky rice and then the sweetness from banana Lamang is cooked in a hollowed bamboo tube. That is why you will find the outer part of lamang burned. But it's still tasty. Okay, lamang is done. Let's try dadia. It costs 40,000 rupiah for one dadia. I really like the smell. <laughs> okay, just give it a try. Don't judge the book by its cover, right? Good. It's like you heard, but there's like a salty taste in it. Um, it reminds me of a cheese. I don't know why. Looks it's good. Will it be better? Hmm. This one is good. I like it. Really? I think it's, it's a good idea if you don't like the sour taste from this dadia. I guess you should put this palm sugar to make it, uh, what is that? A new taste from this combination. I like it. It'll be my favorite. The culture in Tanadata Regency is not only inheritance, but also an identity that defines the people's existence. The tradition defines how they live, how they think, and how they act. And it has always been this way.